Sight. Sight. Music in the morning. Music in the morning. Hey yo, welcome back. It's Ty Ty. So this week we're gonna be going over background vocals. Had a couple requests. Loki kind of slipped my mind, but I'm a man of my word. And here we go. I got a little special guest in here today too. My pup. Her name's Queen. I love her to death. <laughs> but all right, so let's go ahead and hop right in. I'll break down how I do my background vocals and my harmonies. All right, so today running over the song "I'm a Dog" again. It still ain't out, but it is gonna be on a tape that I'm working with. Uh, with my homie ATG. So it shouldn't be too much longer until it's out. But what I got everything here is a bunch of background vocals. So what I got going on is I got two rows of dubs and two rows of harmonies. Now I have been trying uh, a, a new approach to where I kind of picked up from what TZO was saying on, on uh, my Audio Nerds podcast was basically creating a pyramid you know you got your lead at the top and everything behind it is kind of staggering out so it kind of gives you like a 3d feel so i'm i'm doing basically that but not to the exact uh dimensions that he was explaining um what he was saying they do for chris brown is run four rows of dubs so you got two lefts two rights and then two rows of harmonies so I got the two uh, dubs and two harmonies here. So we'll go ahead and hop in and show you how I did it on this song. So what I got going on, you know, I have um, the, and granted, these are all separate takes. Don't duplicate anything and think you can just go ahead and pan it one way and pan it the other. They have to be separate takes. We're run into phase issues and things like that. But uh, on uh, the left side, I'm panned over 56 for the dub. Right side, panned over 57. Normally, they're even. I guess I got a little sloppy on this one. It's off one. <laughs> so then on my harmonies, you know, I'm panning over 78 to the left, panning over 78 to the right. Now, I don't got a whole lot going on on the actual individual tracks. You know, I got my auto-tune. Um, you know, I got uh, retune speed of 7, humanize of 14 for the dubs. I wonder if I got the same thing or maybe a little different on the harmonies. I'm running at zero on the harmonies and still a human eyes of 14 on there. And actually, this one is set to alto tenor for harmonies. Let's see what the dubs is at. Dubs is at low male. So you can kind of get in there and make some micro adjustments as far as the tuning goes. And then I did add on the dubs a little bit of modulation just so it's kind of bouncing around. Um, give it a little bit of movement and then if you see here I have all of these ran to a background vox which then that vox runs into my master well my vocal master and that kind of all basically stems down to going to the master and to the output but basically I'll show you how this sounds like without anything done to the vocals other than being leveled um, so let's go ahead and give it a little test I'm a beast, I'm a dog, you claiming your chick, I've been fucking a raw, I hop on a jet, trip to the mall, I ain't trying to flex, but I ball out of brawn, I'm rocking you BBs, I need me a re, -re. can't fuck with no regular hoe. So, so they are pretty faint, um, I'll go ahead and just mute my beat on this one, but they definitely, it's more of, on this song, it's more of a feeling than a hearing type deal. So let's go ahead and without the beat. I'm a beast, I'm a dog, you're claiming you Let me actually turn this up a little bit so y'all can hear a little bit better. Just to give a little extra volume, I'm going to go ahead and bump this up on my uh, vocal bus. And, uh, because I've noticed I'm talking quite a bit louder than it. So just to kind of give a little bit better experience, let's go ahead and turn it up. I'm a beast, I'm a dog, you're claiming your chick, I've been fucking a raw, I hop on a jet, trip to the mall, I ain't trying to flex, but I bought out a brawn, I'm rocking you BBs. I need me to re, -re. can't fuck with no regular hoes, I'm known in- So, you can see there that it is very faint, um, let me go ahead and I'll just kind of solo out the, uh, the backgrounds. Let's hear those real quick before we get in, showing you how I'm kind of compressing these and also turn them up. Oh. 
So it's very, very faint. But let's go ahead and go down here to the background of us. And so what I'm doing is I am kind of shaping some things out here. I'm cutting off a lot more of the low end. Um, typically, I don't always maybe boot cut off that much, but I would say 200 to 300 I am staying in that range. And a lot of it depends on how much I'm cutting off on the lead. Depending on what you're cutting off on the lead, you're going to want to cut off more, quite a bit more on the backgrounds just so they're not competing. But uh, yeah, I got this cut back to 305. And then what I'm doing here is I'm running a dynamic band, which is typically I would have this kind of pulled back down more, but just kind of where it sounds good. So what that's doing is anything over a certain threshold is kind of pushing it back down. And the way you can kind of create that is I'll just go ahead and create another one real quick just for an example. Go ahead and just kind of pull down on this right here. If it will let me, come on. There we go. And then once it's kind of started, you can go in here and then go ahead and click auto. And then you can kind of adjust your threshold there. So it's kind of like compression, but basically actually what it's doing is it's not fully cutting out that range, but once it crosses that threshold, it kind of smacks it back down. So that was just for an example on that part, but that is exactly what that part's doing right there. And that is currently, what was that at? Let's see. That was at 430. And I only have it dropped down about 0.34 dB. And then up here on the high shelf, which I actually have turned off, but sometimes if you kind of want a little bit of like underwater background vocals, you can go ahead and give it a little bit of low pass. But a lot of times too, you can automate some of that because you may not want it on the whole thing. But I do have this turned off, but that is always an option. Um, so then after that, we are running into the 1176. So basically what that's doing here is just kind of compressing everything, kind of smashing it down and uh, just kind of like really glues it all together. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, play everything here without the beat since these are so quiet. And uh, that way you can get a little example of what's going on. I'm a beast, I'm a dog, you're claiming your chick, I've been fucking a raw. I hop on a jet, trip to the mall, I ain't trying to flex, but I ball out a brawn, I'm rocking you BBs. So that's with the EQ, so I'll Not go without it. I'm a beast, I'm a dog, you're claiming your chick, I've been fucking a raw. I hop on a jet, trip to the mall. And then now with it. I'm a beast, I'm a dog, you're claiming your chick, I've been fucking a raw. I hop on a jet, trip to the mall, I ain't trying to flex, but I bought out a brawn, I'm rocking you BBs. So you hear the difference that that does right there, it just kind of glues everything together. It's subtle, but if you really pay attention to it, you can hear it. And then going into my 1176, let's go ahead and without it. I'm a beast, I'm a dog, you're claiming your chick, I've been fucking a raw, I hop on a jet, trip to the mall, I ain't trying to flex, but... Now with it. I'm a beast, I'm a dog, you're claiming your chick, I've been fucking a raw, I hop on a jet, trip to the mall, I ain't trying to flex, but I bought out a brawn, I'm rocking you BBs. So what I'm going to do is actually turn this up a little bit here so you can just kind of hear it a bit more, just to kind of intensify the effect, but let's go ahead and see. I'm a beast, I'm a dog, you're claiming your chick, I've been fucking a raw, I hop on a jet, trip to the mall, I ain't trying to flex, but I bought out a brawn, I'm rocking you BBs. So you can hear that it doesn't have as much low end, you can hear that it's really glued together. And then also what I'm doing on this too, for this one, um, on each track I have, you know, uh, my long delay and my uh, long reverb. So before I hop in and show you what the slap does, uh, so on my delays here, if I can find them, for some reason I don't have all these labeled. All right, so my long delay here, what I got going on is I have it at a quarter note. You know, I have some reverb added to that. I have a little bit of distortion. And then my feedback is up to, what is that, 16.3. Um, just to kind of give it a little vibe, make it carry a bit longer. And then what I'm doing with that also 
is I'm widening it. So it's pushing the delays past the actual vocals themselves. And it kind of just saves it from like muddying everything up. All right. And then on my long verb, I am running a two second decay. I'm at 25%. Sometimes I'll bounce that up to 50%, which I would say most often I leave it at 50%. And um, what I got going on here with my pre-delay, basically you take the, uh, the BPM, well you take 60,000 divided by the BPM, and you divide that down by 2 until it gets under 50, and that will give you your milliseconds, and then if that sounds a little bit too much, you can go ahead and divide it again, and that's where I got the 16. So I have another video that really breaks down the delays and uh, reverb times. So if you feel like going back and checking that out, I'm not going to get too caught up in this. But this is kind of my typical um, settings for this part. Now the plugins do vary sometimes. Like more recent tracks I am using Echo Boy and I'm using uh, Valhalla. Which you can use any reverb, any delay, and it's going to do the trick for you. But... Um, that's just what I was using at the time. So let's go ahead and see here. On each one of these tracks, I don't have it too flooded out. On the long delay, I'm looking at negative 28.9. And the reverb, and the reverb, I'm looking at uh, negative 7.3. Um, so, I mean, you can get real creative with some of this stuff. Um, but then my slap delay, what I'm running for that is basically... Ooh, I did use the Echo Boy on this one. So what I did here was I have the Echo Time at, I have it set to time actually, instead of the note. Um, you know, you can do 16th note, eighth note, things like that. But uh, as far as the slap goes, you can kind of go into time, milliseconds, and I got that down to 75, or you can bump it back to 65, kind of whatever it's feeling. But that kind of just adds a nice um, little vibe to it in itself, almost kind of gluing everything together, also adding a little bit of like a 3D effect. So let me go ahead and turn that off, and uh, I think I still have the compressor turned up. Let's see. I'm a beast, I'm a dog, you're claiming your chick, I've been fucking a rock, hop on a jet, trip to the mall, I ain't trying I'm to flex, slap on. I'm out of brown, I'm rocking you BB. Yep. Can't fuck with no regular hoe. I'm known in the streets. I keep me a tech. Been chasing this guala. Just cut me to check. Success bring stress, but I pull up a four when I sip out the star phone. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop to this section right here. As I have some um sometimes what I'll actually do too, I don't believe I did it on this song, but you can run your um Especially if it's like ad-libs that are more tucked into the beat. They're not maybe so much like the Migos real loud in your face, almost level with the, the lead. If they're more kind of floating around in the background, you can actually tie those in with your background vocals. And it'll really make a nice touch with it to where they're just sitting nice in there. Also, if you have multiple ad-libs where some are just kind of like on top of each other, you can pan those left and right and kind of throw them all over the place. And it adds a really cool just listening experience. You know, you got your lead just boom, right in the middle. And then pop, pop, pop. It's just kind of bouncing around all over the place. Or, you know, like with these, I actually have auto pan tucked in here. And um, makes a nice little uh, vibe to this. But I will go ahead and show more on the, the dubs and the harmonies. And then I'll kind of explain some of the stuff that I got going on with the uh, ad libs. Pussy is leaking, she dripping, she wet. Ain't trying to talk less, you talking a check. I hop out of porn and I hop in a vest. Shotty act up and I got one on deck. You playing games, this is check, is not chess. If you owe money, I call it your neck. So let me play that back without having these engaged. So nothing at all. They just kind of sound, they're leveled. Granted, I turned them up so they're, you can hear what's going on more. Um, but they don't sound as controlled. So here we go. Pussy is leaking, she dripping, she wet. Ain't trying to talk less, you talking a check. I hop out of porn and I hop in a vet. Shawty act up and I got one on deck. 
especially right here. It just kind of muddies everything up. See what I mean? It's just kind of, it's not very pleasant. So then go ahead and just engage those again, and I'll play that back. One more. So you got that nice, that nice feel there, but granted, when it's all said and done, those are obviously going to be turned down a lot more. But um, let me go ahead and go ahead and turn my compressor back to where it was. So they kind of sit more. And let's go ahead and talk about ad libs for a split second here. So I got a couple things going on here um, with, okay, so I basically have a telephone uh, EQ on those. So they sound a little bit different than the original ones. So what I got going on here is about 11 dB boost in the 1000 range. And then I have a low pass and a high pass engage just kind of shaping everything off around it and it makes it just sound like a cell phone or telephone whatever you want to say go ahead and solo these so it adds a nice little flavor to that granted i also have the one knob filter which is just a high pass basically um but it's a nice easy way to kind of get that underwater effect and you can automate that too but i'm going to save that for another video um and then you know i'm running my vocal writer um, I think I have it turned down a little bit more than everything else. And then, you know, I got my short delay, which I believe is an eighth note. Let me see. Short delay. No, it's a quarter note too, but it's got a short feedback and uh, some high pass and some low pass on that just to kind of shape it. Um, but, uh, yeah, that's for that strain there and the one above it. I don't have anything going on other than my auto tune. And I might have. Nope, same auto tune settings on both. And uh, let's go ahead and just kind of play these real quick. You can see how they're sitting in there behind the lead. I'll go ahead and play these real quick and you can see how they're sitting behind the lead. Shawty, so how she want to fuck on the moon? Cut it, cut it. Cut it, cut it, wrist. Pussy is leaking, she dripping, she wet. Ain't trying to talk less, you talking a check. A hop out of porn and a hop in a vet. Shawty act up and I got one on deck. You playing games, this is check, is not chess. If you don't so you can just hear the delays, you can hear the effects that I got on things. Um, it just, it's to compliment it. And granted, when the beat is engaged, it doesn't sound as crazy as it is. Granted, when you're doing this stuff, you want it to be in the context of the beat so you can really hear what's going on. So let's go ahead and play it. Shawty so hot, she wanna fuck on the moon. Cut it, cut it, wrist. Pussy is leaking, she dripping, she wet. Ain't trying to talk less, you talking a check. I hop out of horn and I hop in a vet. Shawty act up and I got one on deck. You playing games, this is check, it's not chess. If you want money, I'll come at your neck. I really love that. Just underwater with the telephone, it just... It's a great, great asset to add to the style of music that I be making most of the time. All right, so yeah, that basically wraps it up on what I do with my background vocals. And like I said, it does vary depending on the, uh, the track that you're working on. But for this one, they were a little bit more subtle. Um, but, you know, the process is still the same. The only thing that's really going to be different is you're going to be turning them up more, turning them down more. It just kind of depends on that. But uh, the main thing is just remember to cut off the low end and compress. And like I said, run those to their, to their own vocal bus and just kind of take control of it. Now those actually all, let me dive back in here real quick. I thought we was done, but I got one more thing I want to show. So with that being said, you know, I got my background uh, vox running into my main vocal bus. And then, like I made in another video, I got my high end. And that's why I'm bringing more of my high end into the mix i'm not really doing too much eq boost and things like that so they kind of feed it in and we'll go back and forth with and without it Pussy is leaking, she dripping, she wet. Ain't trying to talk less, you talking a check. I hop out of horn and I hop in a vet. Really pay attention to those background vocals right there. It's just, they're bouncing around. They got a nice little vibe to them. It's very clean and I, I just, I love the vibe to it. 
Pussy is leaking, she dripping, she wet. Ain't tryna talk less, you talking a chick. I hop out of horn and I hop in a bitch. Shawty act up and I got one on dick. You playing games, this is check is not chess. If you want money, I come at your neck. No worries, I'm fine. I look like a million, gon' flip to a billion. I'm stacking this money. So you see what I mean about on this specific song, it's more of a feeling instead of a hearing. And, you know, on a lot of... I mean, this same type of process is done on a lot of background vocals. And even songs that first coming into this, you might not even guess that they have background vocals in there other than some blatant uh, ad-libs. But it does make a super big difference, and you can fade it to where it almost feels like it's just one lead vocal. But if you were to mute those, you're really going to feel that they're not there. But... Like I always say, let's build together, grow together. This is Ty Ty. I hope you enjoy the way I do background vocals. Any questions, comments, concerns, hit me in the comments below, and I'll catch you next week. Peace.